I, I do have to say they've 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 already lowered the rocket and rolled it back into the hangar, and they have integrated the two escapade spacecraft into their fairings. So they've inter they've integrated the spacecraft. They have the rocket back at the hangar, and they they launch. It's November second. Their launch is no earlier than November 9th, which is seven days away. And I'm just going to say a week is a long time to roll a rocket out. Just saying. Yeah, I mean, it kind of does sort of start to feel real. And while I don't think they made their original date, like, not that far off. And that's kind of what happens with new rockets, right? Like, you're going to miss your first dates <clears throat> by a lot, <laughs> maybe by a year or two. <laughs> and then each launch after that, you're probably going to miss <laughs> those dates too. But you, you go yeah, from, like, 10. missing it by a year or two to missing it by a month or two, generally speaking, depending upon how that flight went. And then you start missing it by weeks and then you start missing it by days. And it just, those schedules compress and compress and compress and compress and compress. And before you know it, you've got a, a regular cadence and you've got, you know, you understand the vehicle and understand what it takes to make everything go. To Ryan's point, I am, sa oh, this way, I am sad a little bit that they did take such an old school approach to kind of all of it, right? Like operations, fueling, all of it. It's kind of. Just like, why does it take so long to fuel? Like, why, why? It's just, it's just, it's, it doesn't feel like a modern way to fly as, as, as small, spacecraft small or pipe. a rocket. But maybe, maybe that's small, just me. I don't know their operations. Small pipes. Yeah, but why? And pumps, pipes and pumps, right? Like small pipes and pumps, but why? Like, if you're going to, if they, if you want. To... That's, that's a risk question. That's a risk posture though. Oh my God. So, but here's the deal. Is, isn't and, it? And I. Is Blue Origin's goal still cis lunar space? Does anyone know? I haven't heard them talk about this for a while. But... Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. I mean, they 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 have their whole uh, system that they're planning on doing with um, um, their refueling system. And um, not long ago, I feel like this wasn't too long ago, they showed off... Um, their uh like their sun shield that is going to help to to protect that system to prevent boil off i was yeah, just that, looking uh, for that uh, so Ika has a comment and this this is what's going to make all the difference in the world Ika says they don't have <laughs> plans for hourly launches right no <laughs> yeah, right okay cool so they don't have plans for hourly launches i get that but do they have if they're going to do cis lunar space they're going to need to launch on a fairly regular cadence are they not like pretty quickly daily you know daily whatever yeah they're gonna need to yeah. yeah they gotta speed this stuff up right like this is gonna matter in the long term and even this year they were hoping to have conducted eight missions and with this one it's it's only gonna be two like i don't think that there's gonna be another one that's gonna be ready by december and would love to be wrong about that that would be awesome if they could pull off three this year but it's looking like only two still even if they do three still short of their goal of doing eight launches of new glenn this year so yeah they need to that's do expected. it quite a bit come on now that's i think expected. eight launches eight launches is biting off more than you can chew like for any any aerospace company building a vehicle of new glenn's size to do that within the first 12 months i just think you know that i i think from the get-go we could have said eight launches Maybe not. Might be a little. Might be a little ways. But if they land the booster, they will have a booster, minus some some refurbishments, some inspections. If it's the first, obviously it will be the first one that they've got. But if they land it, they will essentially have a booster ready to go to take it back out to the pad. They don't have to wait another few months to manufacture another one because it's very obvious from the fact that they've static fired one GS one, which is their first stage this year, compared to the two or three GS two second stages they've static fired, static fired this year. Their second stage production line is essentially going full beans already, and they're already pumping those things through. The boosters, they take a, long, a lot, little while longer to manufacture, which is why they want to be able to reuse these boosters. That's why they wanted to land it on the first go, right? So they could then try and increase that cadence without having to build a brand new booster every single time.